All right, well, we're going to continue on because um, when I was speaking to Julia and Percy, Padre Irmelindo walked into the English office, and of course he is the director, and uh, they began to speak, and I thought there was more to be said here. Uh, beautiful couple. And uh, they mentioned to me about somewhat the reason of the trip and the gifts that they're receiving, and I want them to... Uh, tell us that and a little bit more about their life. Uh, hello Percy again, H hello Juliana, uh, uh, Julia, mm -hmm. yes. Well I, I confuse your wife with Juliana because she looks I almost know. like the twin, like her sister, right? But um, Percy, uh, you were telling me uh, this is a special time for, uh, for the both of you? Yes, yes, yes. Um, we, um, we are, another reason why we're making this trip is because uh, just last uh, November 5th of 2011, uh, we celebrated 30 years of, of, uh, of uh, or, you know. Yeah, it was your 30th uh, anniversary. 30th uh, yeah. anniversary. I forget what the, if it's, uh, what is it, platinum or? There, oh, the oh. There's some uh, sort of, uh, you Yes, know, you uh, give the gold, you give the yeah. silver, you give the platinum, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Well, it won't be uh, long before you reach the 50th anniversary, yeah, I think. Yeah, that's the idea, and more, yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. So with this, you, uh, it is a part of a gift that you gave your wife and your family to all come together to come to Italy. Yes, yes. We had wanted to uh, to come to 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 Europe in general and to Italy in particular for you know quite a few years, uh, and only this time the circumstances you know uh, everyone was free. Everyone had the time. Everything, all the all the you know all the stars aligned you know and our planets aligned and. Uh, and uh, we're now uh, very happy to be here uh, with the whole family. And I'd say the saints aligned also, uh, listening yes. to you going to Assisi, St. Francis, and yes. here, yes. Padre Pio. Yes. And, um, yes. uh, Julia, can you tell us a little bit more about your family? I know you have uh, two grandchildren at the time, yes, at this Mercy time. Yes, and me met when I was, when the day I turned 15 years old, and I always thought that that was a gift from Our Lady. Um, and how long a romance did you have before you were married? Seven years? Uh, yeah, six. Six and a half. Uh, uh, oh, yes, uh, we met when Julie turned 15, uh, and, uh, and we got married when Julie was 21. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Is it the same as it is in Italy? It seems that uh, the courtships are longer. You know, in America, I'm sure now, I know you're settled in America. Mm -hmm. But in America, you know, gee, it seems like maybe the engagement is maybe one year, maybe six months, and, and that's a long time. Of course, if you're a Kardashian, mm -hmm. it's a matter of a couple <laughs> of weeks, right? But um, uh, here in Italy, sometimes it goes on six, ten years before they get married. Is that similar to uh, your original uh, country? Um, Probably. It all depends. I it mean, all depends. It just depends. I was yeah. just as in high school and... Oh, yeah. okay. You were finishing high school in the same. Yeah, and I was just starting college, oh. so, so we, we had to wait until at least I had graduated and... and and this is, I think, similar yeah. to what they do here, um, where I think the, the man wants to be able to provide the home Correct. for the family, and yes, that's it. Yes. Um, now, among the places that you went, you went to Assisi. Did you visit the tomb of St. Francis? Of course we did, yeah. Uh, did you visit um, Santa Chiara? Well, of course we did. You yes, did, of yes, course. Santa Chiara, yes. Uh, uh, Santa Chiara. Yeah. And all this is done on your own. You did not have a travel agency. You did it by yourself. Yes. We did it by ourselves and also with a lot of help from our younger daughter, the one that you... Julianne. Julianne. Oh, Julianne. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, Julianne, uh, you know, was mostly in charge of all the arrangements for, you know, where to go and what to see and Julie helped uh, a lot as well. So this would be, uh, you know, the young people and I'm sure I have uh, other people too, but young people seem to know how to work that internet, uh, look up yes. travel information, look at that. So relatively easy then, uh, the flight over, did you do... Uh, Miami by chance to Rome for Machino nonstop. How, how did it work for you? Uh, we did Miami, Madrid. Oh, uh, Miami, a Madrid. Of days, a day and a half in Madrid, and then we flew from there to Milano. Oh, you started up north? Yes, yeah, okay. Yeah. And then we, we drove to Cinque Terre. Oh, uh, beautiful. I'm jealous. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then to, to the Tuscany area, and that's where we visited uh, Siena, you know, Casha, Madrid. I'm, I'm sorry, um, Assisi, Assisi. Assisi. And Florence, as you were interviewing yes. my son, you know. Yes. Yes. Um, we try to put the art and the spiritual, you know, together. together. Um, as 
many people know, and I think maybe uh, you have read much about Padre Pio, know much about Padre Pio. Padre Pio, yes, wanted us to have a spiritual life, a prayerful life, but Padre Pio also wanted us to live, wanted us to enjoy life. Here you have a beautiful family, you're sharing this joy of travel, uh, you know, education, going to universities, uh, all the learned institutions, but the gift of travel is such a gift because it opens the mind of someone who maybe has never had the opportunity. When they travel outside their own town, they see that there is more to the world, mm -hmm. all, uh, all that is offered to us, that God has given us. And so Padre Pio wants us to enjoy life, whether it be the fresh air, whether it be the sea in the summer or the cool breeze, whatever, <clears throat> the snow in the winter. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't see that anymore down in Florida, huh? No, no. Um, in Florida, in your parish, uh, the name of your parish, by the way? Emmanuel. 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 Mm -hmm. Ah, beautiful, huh? Mm -hmm. um, and is that right in Miami? Uh, no, it is not. We actually live some 50 miles north of Miami uh, in oh, a little okay. town Good called Del Rey Beach. Okay. And that's oh, where Delray. the parish is. Okay. And uh, by chance, is there a Padre Pio group, a prayer group there by chance? Not really. Not what we, know. we do have is the uh, Betania group. Oh, the Betania group, okay. Uh -huh. And so is it um, uh, getting together once a week, once a month? Or? We get together every like three weeks, once three a three month. Weeks. Okay. And, uh, and in the area at all, uh, do you know of any Padre Pio um, churches that uh, that, uh, do you know of any churches that have any statues of Padre Pio? Have you run across anything like that in or around your area in Florida? Not in our area. Not right? in your area, okay. Um, and when you uh, t travel throughout Florida, uh, do you have the opportunity to go to Orlando? Do you have the opportunity to go to West Palm and all that? Do you do that or do you stay pretty much, uh, are you home, uh, home bodies? No, we have been to Orlando and we have been to, uh, to West Palm Beach. West Palm Beach is only 20 minutes away from where we live. But we usually stay around our area or visit our daughter in Miami. Oh, she's in Miami. Uh, yeah. she's, she's in, in Miami. the real town of Miami. South yeah. Beach, by chance? No, no, no. no. <laughs> but it's in the south, south southwest. Of south uh, uh, of, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, big difference between uh, the two worlds, though, huh? Yeah. When we oh, see yes. this, oh, yes, yes, very much so. Um, may I ask, when you um, first again heard of Padre Pio, uh, was it something that grew within you, or d was it something that um, just automatically, very quickly, uh, took you over? I know you, you spoke about uh, Maria, um, the Esperanza. Yeah. Esperanza. Did that fill you immediately uh, with the gift of uh, faith to Padre Pio? I would say both. You would it say both. It instantly gets into your heart, but at the same time it grows. You, be, you feel each day that passes as a real daughter of Padre Pio, even though he's already in heaven, yes. you still feel him in your heart. And especially today, for me, it's like a confirmation. Praying all these days like a, like a novena in our hearts for him to receive us in some special way. Not in a special way, but he hmm. had his way through you, Michael. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, As a spiritual that, son, well, you know, it, he has again, his ways. it is. Uh, I was going to say to you today, if you can say that truly this was Padre Pio, you know, yes. whether whether it be me or another person, but the opportunity that I happened to walk out or uh, you know be in the mass when you were here, the idea that. Uh, your family was available close by. All those things, those cannot all be coincidences. These yes. are things that uh, Padre Pio has in store. He wanted to give you, obviously, the, the, the devotion is strong. You know, um, speaking of your children, um, uh, Percy the uh, Third, he is an artist, is that correct? And he, oh, he's here. He's here yeah, with us. He's, yes, he's yes. still he's here. He's here too. Okay, oh, yes, and his beautiful wife, yes. Uh -huh. My sister. Oh, that is your sister. Yeah. Oh, people. The beautiful wife is down at the hotel changing the diaper of one of the babies. Yeah. Um, hey, Percy, so let's talk just a little bit about, um, I thought how I actually felt a tingle when um, I saw the glove being put to your hand. Uh -huh. uh, as an artist, uh, do you work with um, the, just the faith, the gift that comes through you? Is there a light or is it something just within you, you are a born artist? Yes. I. Been an artist since I can remember. You know, I, I started drawing really early, so you know, just kept it going through elementary school, middle school, high school. 
And are you studied where? In America or here? Or uh, in, I'm sorry, in... Um, we lived in Argentina for six years before we came to the States. And you, you started school in Argentina? So, uh, so yeah, so, well, that, that was in middle school and high school. Okay. So at that point, I, I really started becoming serious about becoming an artist. Mm -hmm. And I started painting a lot, and uh, I took classes with a, with, a, with a painter outside of school. Mm -hmm. And, and kind of learned um, more of the classical sense of painting and you know, anatomy and figure drawing and, and color theory. And, and from that, uh, those, those lessons I took to, to a random school design. Oh, so from directly from there, you came to... From Argentina, came yeah. So, I, so we came to, I came to the States and... Had and your family moved to the States at that point? Uh, they actually, it was a coincidence. They, my dad, was, 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 uh, his job uh, moved them to Connecticut, so, oh, so it was Connecticut. close. Mm -hmm. Yes. Rhode Island. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Very amazing. Close. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, so then RISD was, was great. Uh, well, RISD considered one of the top, yes. top uh, colleges, uh, universities for art. Yeah, it was a great experience. It really gave me a strong foundation. And Did you do the four years? Four years, yes. Yeah, did so your mom and dad get to go to the um, the graduation? Yes. They did, yeah. They huh? did, yeah. Beautiful there. College yes. Hill? Yeah, yes. very good. Um, let me just ask you, what is your form? How do you work? What do you work with? Are they all, um, are you working with all materials? Are you working with canvas? Are you working with, uh, tell me yeah, so a little bit about um, your work. They're abstract paintings and they they, they have a feel of, of, of landscape oh, to yeah. them. Mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily a particular landscape, but a feeling of landscape. Mm -hmm. um, so Any, uh, still life? Uh, it's not life. No still life. No uh -huh. still life, no figures. No figures, no portraits? No portraits. Okay. I did before, but now it's all acrylic on canvas. Uh -huh. And I pour the acrylic so, so, the, so the paintings uh, kind of take shape on their own. So oh, I take a lot of, so it's, it's, it's got a lot, a lot of ch element of chance and and you know, having faith in what's going to happen, so I collaborate so, with the paint. And is it, it's really a modern way. It's a, it's yes. a, a, this is something. Uh, yes. A new way. It's a new, uh, new technique. New technique. Where I'll, I'll layer a lot of acrylic uh, pores, transparencies, and different light and color. And, and the color. So so through those layers, you kind of get a feeling of atmosphere and. Uh, yeah. j just uh, when you have done any work, has anything been poured on the canvas that happened to be maybe a spiritual in any way whatsoever, uh, Percy? Yes, yeah, definitely there is a spiritual feeling to them. There is. Uh, kind of a, I, I see, when I see landscape, I, I, get, I get the strongest feeling of, of God's well, presence. And, that's it, and yes. I'm, and definitely in this trip, I've gotten really inspired with, with in Tuscany. All the places the you saw that your dad told me you visited, yeah. I'm sure you were inspired. So yeah, so then there definitely is a feeling of, of something. I mean, the paint, uh, the paints kind of appear, you know. Yes. They they just take shape on their own and. Oh. and Beautiful. Uh, well, I can tell you're blessed, and yes. we hear the church bells ringing in the background. We can uh, say that that is Padre Pio giving a big salute to you, mm -hmm. and again. I think um, beautiful story that you have, beautiful life, and uh, all those who watch Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo will pray for you and for your intentions, and uh, may God bless you all again. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Padre Pio. Thank you, Padre Pio. <laughs>